Hi there, Safety Conscious Haulers. Today we're going to be taking a look at Optronics submersible incandescent side marker lights. These are available in either amber or red, depending on where you need them installed in your trailer. Just remember that amber is for the front and red's for the rear. This light will make a great replacement light. So if your trailer already has incandescent lights and you've just got some damaged lights and you want to replace those, this will make a great drop-in replacement so that way everything's going to remain incandescent. It's a standard two and a half inch size, so it'll poke right into where your old lights used to go. I've gone ahead and turned the lights off so you can see that it is an amber lens and the bulb inside is just your typical incandescent bulb. The entire assembly is going to be sonically sealed so it's completely waterproof and submersible. This is going to be great if you're planning on putting this on a trailer that typically sees a lot of inclement weather or maybe a boat trailer where you back it down to load and unload your boat and the lights get submerged under the water. The only drawback here is that it is an incandescent bulb, but since it's sonically sealed, the bulb inside is not going to be replaceable, so if it does burn out, you'll just have to replace the entire assembly. That being said, if you are not bent on keeping all incandescents on your trailer, I would highly recommend that you upgrade to LED bulbs as they last about 50 times longer than your typical incandescents. I've got an LED version of this light installed here on our fender, and you can see here that it is much brighter than the single incandescent bulb. It's also going to draw less current, so if you wanted to add more lights to your trailer, but you didn't want to increase how much current you were drawing and upgrade those parts, you could easily add these in and still likely stay less of a current draw than what you had before with your incandescent lights. We're here back at our red incandescent light that we installed, and it does share all the same features. And right on the back side of this, we have the LED version installed, so you can see the difference in illumination. Both the amber and red side marker lights are going to be PC rated, which means they are specifically designed for side marker lights, and they'll be DOT compliant in all states as long as you install them in the correct locations. We can see our old light here, and this is why we're going to be replacing it. This old one here is damaged. Our new light's going to make a great replacement or upgrade if you've got incandescent bulbs and you're just wanting to get those out of there for something more modern that's more efficient and maintenance free that will last longer. When you're wanting to replace it, you'll want to first remove your old light. If you can, reach in the back side. Pushing it out from the back is usually the easiest way. If not, you can use a screwdriver to work it out of the grommet. We can then disconnect our electrical connector on the back side. This is just a standard two-prong wire. So we're going to disconnect that. If your bulb was hardwired, you would need to cut the wires to remove it. Now, this connector is going to be necessary to install our new lights, so if you do not have this connector on your trailer, you'd want to pick one of these connectors up here at eTrailer.com so you can quickly connect your new light. We can then clean out any dirt that's inside of our grommet there just to make it easier to get our new light in. A lot of times the easiest way to do that is just to pop the grommet out, knock the dirt out, and then put it back in. If your grommet is damaged and you need a new one, we have some available here at eTrailer.com that you can purchase along with your lights. We're now ready to take our new light and we're going to plug it into our connector. The standard two-prong connector just simply plugs right in. You will notice that your new light is pre-packed with dielectric grease, so you don't really need to add any, but you can add some if you want. If you need some dielectric grease, we have some available here at eTrailer.com. The light simply just presses right on and then we can press it into our grommet. We're now ready to test it out, so you can either plug your trailer into the back of your truck or hook up a tester and verify that it's working properly. Everything's working fine here, so if you have more lights that you want to install, you can go ahead and depower it now, and then go ahead and perform the exact same procedures to replace any other lights you're replacing. And that completes our look at Optronics submersible incandescent side marker lights. 